Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. We have ourselves another fast rado on the channel today in the form of this RS250 Cup. This is a forged example, stage three, running around 340 horsepower, which is a lot for one of these. So yes, it should be an awful lot of fun because of course we are going straight to some nice B-roads uh, after we've met the owner, of course, I have a walk around the car, uh, see basically what's been done to it. So yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Fully forged, stage three, Megane RS250 Cup. Okay, so we're joined now with Joe, the owner of the car, mate. Thank you so much for coming down on the channel today. I don't think I've had many Megans on the channel. So yeah, when you, when you messaged me and said, do you want to get this on the channel? I thought, yeah, why not? This should be good fun. A lot of work has gone in on this one. It's fully forged example, yep. hybrid turbo, the lot. Yep. And I think seeing as we've got the bonnet open, we'll start under here. So if it's all right to, to give us a bit of a walkthrough. Yep, has uh, Horsner pistons, I-beam uh, pec rods, yep. uh, ACL race bearings, Supertech valves. Nice. Like full hybrid turbo. Yep. full induction system, intercooler. The usual kind of bolt-ons you'd have yeah. for a hybrid kind turbo car. Good reliable power. And it's running, uh, yeah, about 340 three, brake. 340, which is kind of quite low for this engine, so. Just a safe, safe yeah, map, really. A bit more yeah. Big, yeah. lot more. Um, Manual, of course, yeah. as well. Yeah, um, completely so I, standard gearbox. Yeah, which is quite, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what else? Uh, it's had, it's got BC suspension with the top hats cut. Brakes are completely standard, because again, they're so good for factory that okay. for now yeah. we're gonna do them. They've got padded pads on it at the moment. Okay, yeah, yeah. Probably a bit overkill for what I'm using it for at the moment, but probably the best. If you've got track work yeah. planned, then you don't yeah. need to track to any uh, days in it yet, or? Not yet, because I've kind of just recently bought the car, so okay. waiting for more warmer weather not <laughs> don't blame me or something. don't so, blame me you got yeah. any plans of where you want to take it I want to do Nürburgring this year because yes yeah, good choice kind of more right passage yeah um, absolutely and i just want to take as many tracks as possible and yeah yeah for sure use for it sure. as it's meant to be made use yeah for sure i mean inside we'll get to when we're out in the car but there's a nice half cage uh to harness his bucket seats to the lot uh, but yeah it is a really nice looking car it's really wide and quite aggressive really yeah but yeah what exhaust wise what's it running um it's got a uh ktr full system uh, yep. turbo back i'm not 100 sure if it's decatted or not because uh -huh. i've had two conflicting bits of information yeah it, it sounds pretty good for Mm -hmm. for a two litre so yeah, yeah yeah and it was uh built by k-tech yeah but yeah. by k-tech they don't really go to on that i think they they built the supercharged clear actually which i filmed yeah if you've got anything else which um you want to do main things to do would be manifold turbo and clutch and i can yeah. go up to about 500 which wow is, is <laughs> that would be serious a lot for front wheels. yes definitely a lot yeah. but definitely a recipe for a lot of fun though front wheels manual gearbox and a nice engine build up front yeah. with a load of bolt-ons as well yeah. so yeah I, I don't think i've ever been in one of these to be honest no you? Uh, i've been in some of the modern ones so yeah yeah, I'm very much so looking forward to this. Mm -hmm. So I think if that's pretty much everything, we'll get it fired up and go have some fun. Yep. Got it red, doesn't it? It just goes. Yeah, it's uh, factory red light six and this one's close to seven, so. Oh, 
it's absolutely mental. This car on these roads. Yeah. Perfection. I can't get over how pinpoint the throttle response is now. I mean, I know I'm not driving it, but I can literally feel your foot go down on the pedal. Yeah, it's very impressive. For, yeah. Yeah, especially for a turbo car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what a car, mate. What a car. God, zero spin. It's not too much power for it, though, is it? No, it's... Yeah, I think it is just right. Like, it it's is. on the edge of just being like, perfectly right. Yeah, and we're on PS4 tyres, aren't we? Yeah, PS4 all the way around. Yeah. You can just rev it for days. <laughs> well, it's the same base engine as the Clio, which obviously revs to like eight and a half or eight and uh, a bit, I think. Uh, so okay. it's the same base engine, so it already kind of has a good platform. Yeah. Oh, dearie me. I suppose there's a reason why you see so many of these at track days. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Just put some massive smile on your face. It's literally just like straight there. Yeah. Straight yeah. there. I, I really struggle to get this to move about. Like, yeah. Some people think they have a kind of lighter rear end, but it takes a lot to get it to move. Yeah, like, yeah. You're moving if you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Properly moving. <laughs> but, mate, no, thank you so much for, for taking me out on it. No Wicked fun. Really, really good fun indeed. And if you guys want to learn more about the build and anything that comes soon on it, then uh, I will leave your Instagram linked down in the description down below. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.